You gotta love the bee industry, don't you? Actually, it's a really cool little little community, this bee industry. Because um, I'm guessing we might be having to print a retraction in a minute, because young William from the Bunyip Bee Company's given me a text message and said, heck, I better give him a ring about putting these undercovers. No, undercovers? What the fuck were they called? That, anyway, that white fluted shit that was on the other episode that I had to cut up with me school scissors. Anyway, he's texted me and said, Oi, you better give me a ring. And so we thought, what the hell, we'll give him a ring and you can come along and find out what I fucked up. <laughs> Anyway, at least we haven't killed anybody yet. The girls are still flying in and out. But we're going to give young William a call and find out what we've done. Here we go. Stay tuned. Here we go. Shit, I wonder what I've done. Good afternoon, William speaking. Hey, William, how you going? Just Mark here, champ. Mate, can't miss your voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your text message, dude. I've obviously, I've obviously gone a little bit left of centre here. Oh, uh, look, I was watching the video last night, I'm like, oh, yeah, I better let him know before it becomes an issue. Yes, yes, yes. So, so what'll, what'll actually happen? Okay, well, you've got to bear in mind that the poly hives, they're not top ventilated. So, over winter, with that closed off, and the bottom closed off, they're going to rely on the, the reduced entrance for to be, to be able to breathe over winter. Ah, yes. So that's not going to be too healthy. Um, also, what will happen as well, inside an insulated hive where you, you normally have you know, heat rising and so forth, and with the top not being ventilated, yep. uh, then the, the heat's going to stay within the hive anyway. Uh, but the heavy, humid air, so when the bees uh, consume honey and breathe out, there's going to be humidity inside the hive. That needs to be able to fall through the mesh, so fall through out the bottom uh, of the hive. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So if you close that off, you're going to open it up and it's going to be a damp, humid mess. And they're not, they're, the girls are not going to enjoy that idea. No, no, not yeah. at all, no. Because yeah. normally with the old wooden boxes, the, the, the moisture can sort of run out of the opening because you've got it leaning forward a bit. But. Yeah, yeah, and, and of course, you, with the old wooden hives, you normally have the top ventilation as well. So yeah. that, that in turn will create like a chimney effect in an old hive. Yeah, so yeah. Air coming through the entrance and then up through the, the brood and then that humid air goes out, out through the top vents. Well, in this yeah. case, since we're not having that chimney effect because the hives are so uh, so efficient, yeah. Um, yeah, the humidity will build up to a point where it becomes heavy in the air, be nice and dry as well in, within the hive, that humid air will just fall out through the bottom. So those core flutes, um, plastic sheets, uh, it looks like with your video how you're cutting them, it looks like we accidentally sent you the ones for the 10 frame hives instead of the 8 frame hives. So uh, our, our mistake on that part, so you normally wouldn't have to trim them like you did. Yeah. They're actually designed as a Varroa mine inspection plate. Normally, uh, th these hives are designed uh, overseas, of course, but yeah. they're ready here in Australia. So if we ever do get Varroa mine, and touch wood, we never do, uh, if we ever have to treat the hive for varroa mites, uh, whether that's an organic method like oxalic acid or using varroa mite strips, that plate is to go in under the hive while the, the hive's getting gassed and then the, um, the plate slides out and you do a, a count, a, a mite count. Yep. So that's what that's for. Ah, there you go. Well, that's probably handy to know because I had a few people ask me, they we're using them as their hive mats, which I saw, but I didn't really think they needed one because they're so no, nice and no, sealed. The poly hives, you don't need yeah. them in the poly hives. And yeah. I don't like using core flute inside the actual chamber of the hive as well because they'd just be hiding spots for small hive beetles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's maybe they. Well, there you go. That's one piece of advice that I might have got right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Will. I will. I will attend to a retraction and uh, pull these flutes out. <laughs> no worries, guys. See, See you, mate. You. Bye. Bye. Saved by the bell. Well, saved by the saved by the Bunyip Bee Company. That bee doesn't like me. Maybe they didn't want to get their flutes out. Anyway, so that's young William from the Bunyip Bee Company. I reckon the interesting thing about this bee show is, or not this bee show, this bee industry, is that these are William's queens, and so he's stressing out. So he's still he's still actually got uh, an interest in keeping his bees alive, which is kind of cool. So even with my inadequacies. These girls might have a chance. Let's get this shit back out of here. So anyway, let's have a bit of a let's have a bit of a peekaboo and see whether maybe we'll pull these out and we might have enough water to make a cup of tea, eh? Hopefully, bloody not. That'd suck, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that! I'm 
I'm guessing that's the go, you see. Then, like William was saying, if you had um, had the Varroa mite, which thank goodness we don't have, you would have been able to check it all out on the whiteboard. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But anyway, so we better do as we're told and unvent ourselves. that one out and you can see there's quite a lot of moisture in there because this 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 box has got a few more gals in there so obviously I don't know maybe it's relative to how many gals are on board but anyway that's what Will was talking about you get this condensation in the box so obviously you don't want that because they'll be bloody get wet and miserable apparently if you're wondering it was just that the because they have obviously these boxes come in eight frames and ten frames and so perhaps I've got the 10 frame flutes rather than the 8 frame flutes. That's the only reason we had to trim them. So normally, so my Finnish brothers actually got this shit down. They, because you know, it wasn't, it wasn't their fault. It was just probably a, a miscalculation on the bench. Oh, do that. <laughs> so I guess I'd like to print a retraction a bit like in the newspaper. You know, when they have a messed up headline about who's been doing who or which mistress he ran off with or whatever it was. Or some poor unfortunate football player that's been caught with with a naked chick with his medal around her neck. But anyway, the retraction on page 10 would read, Don't put the flutes in the bottom of the box, dipshit. 